Hey, glad you could make it back. We got more Age of Empires here for you. And uh, this is once again my favorite matchup. Me playing as the Abbasid versus my opponent, J. Rambo Leet, uh, who's playing as the French. And I really like this matchup. To be honest, when I saw Dry Arabia, this map, come up, I kind of hesitated to choose Abbasid. I had previously had a pretty bad experience on Dry Arabia playing as the Abbasid. Basically, my spawn had no safe second town center spots, and even this one ends up being kind of uh, iffy. But at the last minute, I decided, you know what? No, let's stick with it. Let's try and get let's try and get our second town center going as Abbasid on this map. And I was happy because I was up against French. So really, it was my opponent's choice that ended up working out really well. And this is really awkward. I shift clicked my scout around the map, and there's this big clump of trees here that my scout was forced to go around. My opponent responded quickly, ducked all of his villagers into the town center, and I lost my scout and the three sheep here. And it's not only these three sheep. Now that I don't even have a scout, I'm gonna lose out on pretty much most of the sheep on the map. And that's always a problem, because that's one less safe food resource that I can gather. So an unfortunate start there, I decide let's remake the scout, because I really want to know what my opponent is up to. And it's just... I mean, it's unfortunate I lost the scout, but I cannot play this game with just c completely blind. We, we, had to, we had to queue up another scout. So it's going to put us behind a little bit. It's unfortunate that we're not going to get all those sheep, and I'm trying to gather up what I can, and I'm trying to find where I can put a second town center. So far, I've noticed there's a clump of trees here, clump of trees down here. There's a deer hunt over here, along with some gold and stone, but not really any wood. Over here, it looks like there's some kind of resource here. Not sure. I'm really looking for more berries. There is a, there is a berry patch up here. So I'm a little tempted to put my second town center maybe like right here, but it's so far away from my town center. I'm honestly thinking, what if we made our second town center right here? Like basically within our base. It's not ideal because we lose out on the potential resources that we could have put the town center near. Oh, and he actually brings his scout too far close and I uh, tried to snipe it down, but even now it, it wouldn't have been much damage. He's gathered up most of the sheep. And we're gonna get down a pretty early barracks here rather than spend the wood to just, or just save the wood to make a, a second town center. I'm gonna get a barracks and make a few spearmen. We're also hoping to gather up a little bit more gold so that we can get this upgrade to Hardened Spearmen, because we need these Hardened Spearmen to take on the French Knights. So I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put my town center. Maybe I could put it here, but it's so exposed. It's nice as near the gold. Ugh, I'm really having a hard time. And here come the first French Knights. I just saw one try to zip past one of my scouts. So I'm going to position my spearmen up forward. I don't want to lose my uh, villagers on food. I'd like to protect this villager on gold, but we'll see. And I want to protect my villagers on uh, this stone as well. And we're getting more, more spearmen. Usually two, three spearmen at each resource point can uh, secure, secure your villagers' safety. We're almost up to our 1,200 stone here. Once we get our tw once or sorry our 300 stone. Once this drop below, once this drops below 1,200, yeah, we take our villagers off. And now I'm like, okay, where do I put this second town center? Forget it. Let's just put it down here. It's out of the way, and maybe he won't even end up finding it. He's too focused on the front lines up here. Maybe his knights won't come down this way. And I'm I hopefully I can bring these. Oh, I'm actually going to retreat with the spearmen down here. I wanted to protect these villagers while they built the town center, but fortunately he didn't follow with the knights. I don't think he has vision of it. If he had brought a scout along with his royal knights, which I highly recommend French players do, 
keep your scout with your royal knights. It'll help you identify targets. And look at this. I think we're going to get a free royal knight here. Nice. Those are very expensive units. So yeah, I've lost a villager, but he's lost one of his royal knights. And more importantly, I don't think he knows about this second town center. Now that I have my second town center and I've got my uh, economic upgrades, so I've got my fresh foodstuffs, which makes my villagers cheaper. We've got our wheelbarrow, which makes my villagers faster and carry more. Now we need to decide what to go for. At first I decide I'm going to rally my villagers over to uh, the wood line because I'm thinking there's going to be some aggression from my French opponent, probably archers and knights and rams, but then I notice seven villagers on gold. That makes me think my opponent's going for the castle age. If I, when, when I play as French, I often like to just put on a little bit of Royal Knight Harassment and then just speed on by to the Castle Age. So I'm suspecting my opponent is going for Castle Age, so I decide to reposition and I decide, let's have this Town Center rally to gold. So we'll gather gold and food here, all in an effort to get to the Castle Age. Back here, oh, let's defend against these Knights. Oh, we fill that gap in with our Spearmen, that was really good be unfortunate if those knights got into this tree line but i decided let's not have as many on lumber let's switch everyone to food and gold gold i could be gathering over here but it feels a little too exposed to those royal knights the food i'm gonna take these berries over here and this is really rough i don't like i, I was very panicked in this early game because my opponent has royal knights I can only put 10 villagers into this town center, and there are 15 here. So if royal knights come by here, I need to defend it. If royal knights come by here, I need to defend it. If royal knights come by this wood line, I need to defend it. So I have a second barracks. I'm trying to produce spearmen while saving up for the uh, castle age, and that's honestly okay. I have a little bit too much food, so we'll dump a little bit of our extra food into these spearmen since they don't cost any gold. Back at his base, I've got a scout here. I actually blocked his wall off. It's always nice to hold position here so that um, his villagers can't finish the wall. It's just such an annoying little thing. I did see a second stable. Pretty rare for the French to go with a second stable, simply because the School of Cavalry already produces tons of knights, and now we're seeing the second town center for my opponent. I think he wants to play a macro game too. I don't know if he ever even figured out that I went for a second town center, although he should have noticed the stone outcropping, me mining from it. Like I definitely went for a second town center. So I'm thinking we might just both make it to Castle Age safely on two town centers see a big clump of knights he's still just making so many knights so i'm just gonna probably queue up some more uh spearmen and i'm also gonna look to get certain upgrades i think i'm gonna want either plus one attack or plus one armor probably armor oh i actually cancel it because i want the resources to go to the next stage okay so we're going castle age it's because we've been able to gather up all these resources He's done nothing about me gathering all this golden food over here. He's done nothing about me gathering the food over here. We're still not getting harassed over here at the wood line. It's pretty much just been safe resource gathering for me. I saw all of his knights back here take care of my scout. So I guess he's just trying to play a macro game too. Knowing that things are looking somewhat safe, I decide let's try and take these berries we'll put an outpost down and start to see what we can do and I'm starting to make camel archers we definitely want that camel unease it'll cause his knights to do less damage and now we spot one of his royal knights and I'm not sure if it's just one royal knight or his whole army usually okay, just a scout over here annoying my um my villagers now I'm curious how many knights are over here we come forward oh I'm glad the camel archer didn't take a shot because that's his whole knight army 
So I really need these knights, which are these spearmen, which just finished off that scout, to come over here. And we're going to protect this villager. We're going to try to. Hopefully he doesn't go for... Yeah, he knows to kill the villager. This outpost just seconds away from finishing. I'll have to send another villager out. But I'm going to start rallying villagers over here to get this uh, food. But I suspect my opponent will age up shortly as well. We make it to the castle age. Would love to see me get that. Okay, it was immediate. That's awesome. We immediately get the preservation of knowledge. We're getting some blacksmith upgrades. I probably could have waited on a lot of these upgrades until the preservation of knowledge finished, but it looks like I really prioritized these three upgrades. Military Academy, Veteran Spearman, Increased Damage. Probably could have canceled the damage. That thing's not even going to start researching before this finishes. And this research is so quick. I really should be patient. I can save a lot of resources. Okay, sending a royal knight forward. Fortunately, when he attacks me, I realize, oh, I'm long distance mining here. Let's get that down. Opponent makes it to the castle age, so now we're both on two town centers, both in the castle age. However, I've had my second town center up for a lot longer than he has. If you think about it, I had a second town center and extra villagers. He had a big standing army of uh, knights. He should have been using the knights constantly to be dealing damage to me. But instead, we were able to just gather and gather and gather. Lose a small force here, but we do scout our next target. Looks like this forward base. If we can defend this and maybe put some pressure on this, that'll be really good. Because for some reason, he's decided to put his production buildings out here. I suspect he was planning on putting down a um, keep over here. It protects this area, and it allows him to uh, make cheaper units. The French actually can produce cheaper units from their military structures if the military structure is near a keep. We are starting to get more and more upgrades. Uh, more upgrades from the blacksmith. We're starting to get some economic upgrades like agriculture. I suspect we're going to make it to a uh, farm economy soon enough because we're, we're starting to run out of uh, available food sources. But I decided to put some pressure on. We've got the right unit composition. Look at all these spearmen. I've even got a single camel archer reducing the damage of all the knights. And his arbalatriers are getting attacked by this mangonel, which actually had its uh, damage versus ranged units increased. So it's now really an anti-ranged unit uh, siege weapon. So it, it just tears down archers and crossbowmen want to target these villagers, but they run away at just the right moment. I was trying to target them with my mangonel. He cannot fight my units, so I'm just going to stay safe and try to force him into uncomfortable positions. I'm trying to target fire with the mangonel, I'm trying to keep my units busy, really need to queue up more villagers, I think I need more siege units. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm getting down a battering ram. Definitely could use more battering rams. And we've got a lot of wood. I'd like to see me get some uh, farms going. And more villagers. Looks like I don't have any villagers in the production queue. That's awkward. I'm probably razor focused on what's going on here. He sends a huge mass of villagers forward. It looks like he wants to burn down this mangonel. I guess he feels like he can sacrifice the villagers. He destroys it, and now he sends his royal knights in, but the knights are just going to get swallowed up by these spearmen. Look at the damage. Oof. And as they retreat, there's a chance these crossbowmen are going to get a, a finishing blow. He's losing more villagers here. And I decide, decide, I, I decide to send small forces to the sides of the map. So we've got crossbowmen trying to check this gold vein, and I've got these uh, spearmen and this camel archer checking out this mill over here. Looks like the gold's already gone. Should probably send these crossbowmen elsewhere. Okay, there we go. More villagers, a bunch of upgrades in the queue. That's great. And we find villagers on the berries. We're gonna start killing them all. 
The battering rams are starting to take out his structures. I send my units in. We're actually getting a spring alt and a mangonel as well. But these battering rams are the real issue for him. They're going to tear down all of his military production. And this mangonel is going to help me deal with his crossbowman. Oh, we killed all of the villagers here. With that, with that victory over near this berry bush, killing all those villagers, and we still haven't lost any, really. I mean, we're, we're transitioning all over the map. We've got berries over here, uh, more gold over here. We've got two uh, wood lines that are being chopped, and we're getting all these different upgrades, all the basic economic upgrades. And the fact that we just have a handful of siege units is super helpful. We can just start to rip down everything. We'll, we'll take out even these barracks. Oh, and we find uh, villagers over near this stone. I wish these units would start attacking. We're camped on some of his nearby resource patches. I just love going up against the French. Oh, look at that mangonel shot. It really has improved against ranged units. I think my opponent really needed to transition away from the knights and crossbowmen. I knew he would go knights and crossbowmen. It's all I saw him making was archery ranges. I mean, these barracks came a little too late. He really needed man-at-arms and maybe horsemen, uh, but it was just too late. We had just the right army composition and we pushed at just the right time and found just the right spot to attack. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you can make it to the next match, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you next time.